Hello welcome everyone, this is a code flow. In previous video we have set the game state of the game while playing, so that it will be easier to find out what is player doing now. While playing game, if we select any level, then the random number of that level is generated, and the game state is changed to in-game state. Suppose if we hit 1 for easy level, then the random number between 1 to 10 is generated, and current state of game is changed to in-game state from main menu state. And this happened because we have written the code to generated that random number while player choose any level from here. Now we can input our guess, and it works perfectly. We made it by checking if our game state is changed to in game, and if it is changed, then we get all the player input as string in player input variable. Then if player hit enter, the input is shown. Now we have to check if the guess inputted by player will match to the random number generated or not. If it is match, then player wins the game, if not player will be defeated. So we will check it by using if statement. If player's input equal equal to random number. We got a problem here. We can see red underline on random number. And error is shown as the name random number does not exist in the current context. This is because the variable random number is defined inside if and else if statement. So the variable cannot be accessed in another location. We can use it everywhere if we made it globally available. So we will move the declaration of random number to outside of every method, and also initialized default value of zero, like this. Now the red underline is in both player input and random number. Why this is happening? Let us see our declaration portion. Here player's input is of type string, while random number is of type integer. So we cannot compare text and a number. Player is inputting their guess, suppose 25 which is a number, but input.input .input string will make is string. Now we have to convert or parse the inputted string to integer. To convert the string to integer we will use int.tryParse method. int.tryParse method will take string as input and it will out integer of that output in the form of variable. Here in this example if the variable phone is inputted in tryparse method, then it will output a variable as result of integer type, which contain the same value of phone variable. But if the inputted string contain character other than number, then the result will be zero. Challenge time. Convert your player's input to integer, using tryparse method. Out it in a variable name guess. Use the guess variable to check if the guess is correct of not with reference to random number. Pause the video now, and complete the remaining code. Welcome back, let's have a look what we can do here. Since we are using player's input here, we will clear it at last when we finish checking it to random number, because if we clear it here then it will always be zero. Now we will use tryparse method, int.tryparse, provide player's input as string, and we will out integer type of guess containing the converted value. So finally we get player's inputted guess in our guess variable. So here, this player's input becomes guess. And the red underline disappear, because now the variable guess and random number both are integer. So if the guess is equal to random number then you win the game. If not then you lose the game. And finally we will clear the player's input so that the next time if player input any text, then current input should not be added on it. Now save and hit play icon to check the game. I will select the easy level by pressing 1. Now random number 6 is generated for easy level. Again if I guess 6 and hit enter, then I win the game. Similarly, when I select medium level by pressing 2, the random number is generated of medium level, and if I enter different number other than that number we lose the game. Fantastic. Now it is near about we are playing game. We will hide the random number generated in future lecture, so that it looks more realistic. Showing the results and asking for same result is not good. How did you guys get on? If you have any problem on this video or in this course then comment below. Please don't forget to like share and subscribe the code flow.